All right, guys, so chief legal analyst at CNN, Jeffrey Tubin, has been exposed, literally exposed, um, on camera, on, on a Zoom call, and there is a lot to unpackage here. So, but before we get ahead of that, my name is Greg Foreman, and you're watching A Black Concerted Perspective. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share A Black Concerted Perspective, aka A Liberal's Worst Nightmare. You can also follow me on Twitter at GForeManBCP. Let's get it. All right, guys. So, uh, the New Yorker suspends uh, Jeffrey Tuburn for masturbating on a Zoom call. And here's a live look at what that Zoom call looked like and how it went. Open to slide three from the video. Now, can I morning? actually Please hop on this call since I'm not on this account? It's no problem. Okay, Go cool. ahead, Sean. Page are we on? I'm sorry, we're on page 12, the second graph from the top. Okay. Now turn your camera off. All right, so if you look, uh, we're a 0.15% higher than 2019. Uh, uh, we started this quarter off at 2.75%. Holy shit. Uh, oh, God. I don't think he's anywhere. Oh, my God. How do we turn this speed off? Wow. We can't. Oh, hell no. Oh my god. So it's a host. We Holy sh And when I read this story, guys, honestly, uh I couldn't believe it, but then I could believe it after I actually looked into who he was um and realized that he worked for CNN. Um and he'll probably get a bonus for this uh just from working at CNN cuz we know how they roll. Um but I started to read into it and I just couldn't believe how stupid and funny this was. So the New Yorker has suspended reporter uh, Jeffrey Tubin, uh, sources tell Vice, uh, it's because he exposed himself during a Zoom call last week between uh, members of uh, the New Yorker and uh, WNYC Radio. Tubin said in a statement, the mother boy, I made an embarrassingly stupid mistake believing I was off camera. I apologize to my wife, family, friends, and co-workers. I believed I was not visible on zoom i thought no one on a zoom call could see me i thought i had muted the zoom video he added all right guys so when i read this the first thing i thought was this guy's addicted to porn there's no doubt in my mind this guy is a porn addict this is classic signs of porn addiction and the reason why is because <laughs> It sounds to me like he was on a Zoom call doing a meeting and you're in a meeting and he could not wait long enough to get off the meeting, to close it out, to be done with the meeting, to whip his thing out and to, you know, arouse himself. Now, again, that is classic porn addiction signs. Now, the thing is, is that <laughs> for me, like... Anybody know when you got a laptop, like, right, like you can tell when the camera's on, there's always some light telling you, like, when you got a webcam or whatever, that the light is on. I mean, at the very least, he could have put, you know, like the tape over the top of it, you know what I'm saying, just to make sure, you know, just in case he didn't know whether his light was working or not, like, bro, we all been in that situation, dog. We all been in that situation. I'm pretty sure some of you guys, maybe including myself, <laughs> get super paranoid about stuff like that. You know, so he either has an addiction or he's like really stupid with technology. I, I really do believe it's the addiction. Like dude couldn't even just wait till the meeting was over. And he said that he thought that the camera was off. So he knew that he was doing it during the meeting, guys. <laughs> like, and I'm wondering, like, do you put one earbud in one ear and listen to them talk during the meeting and then another earbud in the other ear so you can hear the noise and then you just go at it? Right? Like, is that what you do? And honestly, guys, this is not the first time he's probably tried to do this. This is definitely not the first time he's tried to do this. He's done this before, but this is just the first time he got caught with it. No doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind. So, a New Yorker Spurs person, uh, Natalie uh, Rabe, I guess that's how you pronounce her name, said, Jeffrey Tobin has been suspended while we investigate this matter. What do you need to investigate? I mean, Natalie sounds like a woman. So is she going to pull up the Zoom call video and take a look at his junk to make, to make sure that that's what it was, that that's what actually happened? Like, how does that investigation work? You might want to get a male 
on an investigation to to check that out, you know, just to keep it decent. But apparently they're investigating. I'm not sure exactly what it is to investigate, but <laughs> they got to get to the bottom of it. Apparently, Tubin's code NAS email was disabled and he has not tweeted since October 13th. He did, however, appear on CNN where he is the network's uh, chief legal analyst on Saturday. Uh, CNN did not respond to a request for a comment. Of course, like, what was they going to say? You know, our chief legal analyst got caught, you know, beating his meat <laughs> on camera. Um, so, I mean, there's really not much to say there. The New Yorker editor, David uh, Remnick, wrote an email to all New Yorker staffers. Dear all, as you may have read in previous uh, news reports today, one of our writers, uh, Jeff Tubin, uh, was suspended after the incident on a Zoom call last week. Please be assured that we take matters, uh, such matters seriously and that we are looking into it. Best David. Again, looking into what? What exactly are you looking for? <laughs> I mean, it seems like everybody wants to see this man's junk. You know, like, I, I don't understand. They they saw it on Zoom. I mean, somebody probably got a screenshot. I, what, what more is there to look into? Now, I have also found some extra details about this story. Uh, Tubin uh, was allegedly, again, masturbating during a Zoom call in question, according to Motherboard. Uh, two people on the call told Motherboard anonymously that the call was an election simulation featuring many New Yorker reporters. And that they saw Tubin touching himself. They noted to Motherboard that it seemed as if Tubin was on a second call after exposing himself. Tubin left the call and then re entered uh, moments later. <laughs> I guess you could say he couldn't wait to bust out of that call. Tubin was granted uh, time off from CNN. Uh, according to CNN, Jeff Tubin has asked for some time off while he. Um, deals with a personal issue in which we have granted again i hope he is dealing with his addiction that that's what i hope he's uh dealing with there's no doubt in my mind that this man was you know on i ain't gonna say you, you know the sites you know he was he was on the tubes so yeah that's basically just this story reading through something like this is obvious to me that this guy just couldn't help himself and i couldn't help but make a video off of it Zoom also got a hard on off of this. Um, they're up uh, 9.34, which is 1.67%. Uh, um, he did a great job advertising for them. So Zoom should probably get this man a years long subscription to his favorite adult website, just as a thank you gift for all the wealth that he has helped create for Zoom uh, in one day. I hope Jeffrey Tubin can fix his addiction. As I remember, um, you know, he does have Trump derangement syndrome. He's done a lot of bashing of Trump on CNN. So maybe that's also a part of the problem. So hopefully he can get those two issues cleared up. And if he can, you know, get back to his normal life um, and go from there. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.